we've all looked back on some of our old photos and cringed at the things we once thought were fashionable. If you've ever tried to rock stirrup pants or acid wash jeans, there's no need to be embarrassed. Sometimes trends do make their way back around, and today we are going to show you some beauty trends that did just that. Before we take your look from regretful to recent, be sure to hit subscribe for more from the taco. Now let's get started. Metallics Let's go back to the 90s for a little bit. Back then, we were all about being bold with our looks, and that included a ton of glitter and shimmer. Sure, we didn't always manage to pull it off, but darn it, that didn't stop us from trying. If you missed the days of coating yourself in glitter, we have some good news for you. Shimmery metallic colors are back in style, and you can make them look sophisticated enough to wear during the daytime. Make yourself look positively royal by adorning your eyelids in gold. You can go sheer for a more subtle shine or use a stiff for brush for a more opaque application if you're not afraid to go bold. You don't have to completely coat your eyes a la Scary Spice to get the look, at least not in this decade. You can also add some gold gloss to your existing lip color for a gorgeous shimmery effect. And then of course, there are the variety of gold illuminators and palettes designed to make you positively sparkle, in a very up-to-date way of course. Stick to warm, rose gold hues to keep this look subtle and ready for summer. Bright Lipstick it feels like the trend of wearing bright lipstick became a thing again because we finally learned how to get it right. Neutral lip color can be gorgeous and definitely has its place, but try going bold with a bright red pop of color. Of course, even within the realm of bright lipsticks, there is a lot of variety and choosing the right shade is of the utmost importance. If you have fair skin, try out some true red lipsticks that don't have any orange tones. If your skin is a more medium color, we suggest a more pinkish or orange-hued red. If you have dark skin, try a pop of purple instead of a straight red. Maybe you retired your red in favor of a neutral color when you just couldn't get it right, but to make sure you lock in the color, you'll definitely want to use a lip liner. You can get away with skipping on more with neutrals, but with the bright color, you want to make sure it doesn't fade or smudge anywhere else on your face. Because you're going so bold with your makeup, make sure to make the rest of your outfit more demure in comparison. Nails who hasn't had at least one French manicure at some point in their makeup wearing career? The look is simple and classic, but over time it fell out of style in favor of more complex nail art. But we love that our favorite festive nail tips are coming back in a big way, with updated and upgraded French manicures. Instead of just using a simple white stripe on the ends of your nails, try swiping on some additional colors. If you're worried that rainbow nails will look too bright and immature, try pairing them with a dark base to make the look more sleek and modern. Or if you if you aren't into multicolored nails, you can add on to your white tips by putting some contrasting designs or words. This look is definitely only for the steady-handed, so you might need to practice before you can get it just right. If you're looking for something you can pull off with a lower skill level, try a minimalist black line instead of a classic French tip. We love this look because it's as flattering as it's bold. Blue Eyeshadow here is another once-beloved 90s throwback we just couldn't stand to leave in the past. Apparently, all 90s beauty mavens got together and decided that frosty blue was the perfect color for your eyelids. This is definitely one of the most cringe-worthy trends we can recall. But if you loathe removing the blue shadow from your caboodle, we have good news for you. Even big stars like Lupita Nyong'o knows that there is definitely a way you can wear blue eyeshadow and look stunning doing so. This bright blue shadow looks gorgeous with Lupita's skin tone, and the good news is that there is a flattering blue shade out there for everyone. Instead of just slathering your lids in the frostiest blue you can find, take the time to find one that suits your skin tone. Make sure to let that beautiful blue shine bright by toning down the rest of your makeup if you decide to try out this trend. You'll also want to ensure that you don't skip your eye primer. Not only will this help the shadow last longer, as with any shade, but it will prevent the blue from blending with your skin tone and looking a bit off. Glitter there once was a time in the not-so-distant past when it was pretty much acceptable to cover your entire body in glitter. The glitter of the past was mostly in big chunks, making it stand out and sparkle, but limiting where you could wear it. Then, for a long time, glitter was associated with young girls and more mature women had to put their sparkle away. But you'll be glad to know that glitter is back in a huge way, and this time, it's definitely more flattering. Sure, you can dump a bucket of glitter on yourself, or you can use some subtle shimmer in a strategic way 
to accentuate your features and hide your flaws. If you're not afraid to go wild, you can follow in the footsteps of the bold Bella Thorne. She even contoured her abs and torso using what appears to be green body glitter. While you might want to be a little more subtle, it's not unusual for people to use a bit of shimmer to contour their legs or cleavage. You can also use a glittery shimmer to contour your face. Instead of just using some light and dark powders, add some sparkle for a lovely strobe effect. Bright Eyeliner if you're looking for a way to shine bright and stand out without relying on sparkles, we have a solution for you. Bold eyeshadows are one thing, but why not really stand out with some bold eyeliner instead? Yes, this look went out of style for a while, but now it's back in a big way. You'll need a dash of boldness and a steady hand in order to pull off this distinctive look. When you're picking an eyeshadow to pair with this look, you'll want to keep it simple. Resist the urge to go for anything too metallic or glittery. These shadows have their places, but for this look, we don't want them to steal the spotlight from your eyeliner. Some good choices are brown, beige, or a neutral shade. There are also lots of ways you can make this look your own. You can try to pull off some funky double lines or just stick to a classic silhouette. Whatever you do, just make sure that your stripes of bright color are close to your lash line. This look might seem intimidating at first, but with some practice, it's one that just about anyone can pull off. Pink and Purple you know that eyeshadow in the 90s was blue or bust, but the 80s had their very own aesthetic. One of the looks we remember was wearing purple and pink eyeshadow, and yes, we mean at the same time. Unfortunately, more often than not, it made the wearer look like they were sporting a black eye. But when done well, it is a super fun and flattering look, and it's making its way back around after all of this time. It's even appeared on the runway at New York Fashion Week, but don't be afraid to wear it when you're not on the catwalk. The trick is, you have to jump in completely and embrace a bold color. Trying to choose subtle pinks or purples can make you look like you have an eye infection, which isn't a good look on anyone. Pick bold, vibrant colors that show up well against your skin tone. If you're worried the look will be too much, keep the colors concentrated in their own areas, instead of blending them out into an all-over smoky eye. Frosted Lips if anyone can take a trend from cringe to cool, it's definitely Rihanna. This once outdated trend got a majorly metallic upgrade since we first saw it in the 90s. Frosted lips were once all the rage before we collectively decided that they were not the look. The lipsticks that were all the rage back then used a specific formula that reflected light in a way that was seriously intense. But years later, makeup manufacturers realized that shimmery lips can still be gorgeous and started to refine their formulas and thaw out this frosty trend. Modern lip colors use finer particles to deliver a smooth finish and an even application, which are all the more important when shimmer is involved. Instead of a chalky pattern, pastel colored frosted lips, we're seeing a ton of warmer and much more flattering shades. Now, frosted lip colors can be in shades of berry, bronze, and warm neutrals. Say goodbye to bubblegum pink lips and hello to a much more tasteful and more natural looking lip color. Many celebs have embraced this tasteful trend, but it's absolutely wearable for the rest of us as well. Lashes Back in the 80s when we were piling on eyeshadow and liner, our mascara got the same treatment. Coat after coat was piled on, leaving eyelashes looking like clumpy spider legs instead of long, luxurious, perfectly curled lashes. Looking back on old photos featuring this look can leave you cringing and wishing for a lash brush, but not so fast. Amazingly enough, the trend of clumpy, overloaded lashes seems to be coming back. The trick of pulling them off is to make them look clumpy without looking sloppy. Think about style icon and model Twiggy and her lashes. Not only do they look great on her, but this trend couldn't be any easier to pull off. It's definitely easier than meticulously applying and separating your lashes. Grab a dark black mascara that is formulated to apply thickly and leave you with dramatic volume. This will give your lashes a chunky look that is still uniform, making your lashes and you stand out. This look is enhanced by barely there facial makeup. And make sure that you do your eyeliner first to prevent smudging. And this clumpy trend is only for your top lashes, not your bottom ones. Black Lipstick no, we aren't just talking about what shade to wear with your Halloween costume this year. It's entirely possible to pull off black lipstick without looking like you're going through a goth phase. It can be tough to wear, but if you manage to pull it off, it can make you look both edgy and sophisticated at the same time. We predict that this dark makeup trend will be popular in 2018. Since there aren't a ton of black lip liners available, at least not yet, reach for a clear one to prevent your lipstick from smudging all over your face. To make it clear that this isn't part of a costume, 
keep the rest of your makeup simple. A little bit of blush, some eyeliner, and a bit of mascara is all that you need if you're rocking a bold black lip. One of the greatest things about this trend is that black is universally flattering meaning that it will look awesome on you regardless of your skin tone. You can opt for a flat, jet black, or pick one with a bit of shimmer or gloss instead. Are you excited about bringing back any of these trends of a bygone era? Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments section and subscribe to The Taco for more videos.